We're moving into uh, from sets to sequences to what happens when you add a sequence together, which we've already discussed is called a series, right? Uh, so what I want to do is call your mind back because this is going to be the first thing that we look at this morning, and um, we're actually going to do two exercises today because they're both small exercises. One well, remember sigma notation, okay? Sigma notation is a wonderful little tool for taking something which is very, very long and just boiling it down into the smallest thing, okay? So I want you to remember, um, we did this really, really briefly last time, but you've seen sigma notation before, so what does it mean, right? For starters, um, why did they choose the letter, the Greek letter sigma? Why, what's the significance of that? It's, it's the Greek letter, it's what corresponds to our S, which is the abbreviation for sum, right? So we're adding things up. Hence, series, okay? So the whole idea is that we're adding things up. Everything we're adding up looks like this. This is the format it's in. If you like, it's a little bit like function notation, right? Like this thing in here is going to be a function of whatever letter pronumeral has been chosen, okay? That's what they all look like in this first example, n squared. Which n squareds do we want to add up? From the first from, one. from uh, when n equals one, bless you, all the way up to n equals five, right? So this is automatically defined for um, whole number values here, right? So we're not doing like n equals one and one and a half. We're going one, two, three, four, five, okay? So I can simply, you know, read this out. We'll write it in like full form and then we'll start to simplify it, okay? So being that they're all in this form, I'm going to go one squared. There's the first one, two squared. 3 squared all the way up to what I call my upper boundary, right? So I've got my upper and lower boundaries, which are here and here, my um, start and end points, okay? So we've got that written down. Oh, okay, this is, just, this is just a number, isn't it, right? Like this is, well, let's simplify a little more. Okay, can someone tell me what this is equal to? Good morning. Uh, I'm seeing 55. that's 5, 30, 55. Yeah, looks good to me. Okay. So just note, right, all of this fancy schmancy stuff over here, all it's equal to is a number. Right? That's all it is. Now let's have a look at this next um, series that's written in sigma notation. The, the most frequent thing that you'll come up with that as your starting point is n equals 1 because first term, right? But there's nothing saying it has to start at n equals 1. It can start anywhere it likes. So k equals 2, that's a fairly, you know, ordinary value. I could start at k equals 200 if I wanted to. Let's have a look. How many terms, by the way, am I going to have? Good morning. How many terms am I going to have? Three. Very good. I'm going to have term 2, then term 3, then term 4. It's important to know how many terms I'm going to have in a, um, in a series. If I start and I put in k equals 2 here, 7 times 2 minus 1, that's 13, 13 isn't it? 13. Now, without actually evaluating it, you should be able to tell me what the next term is just by thinking of the pattern, right? Because um, see how I said this is kind of like function notation, right? You remember I said there are three different ways that you can define a sequence? Which means, which kind of implies, there are three different ways to define a series, right? So what you've got here, this function notation, is just like the formula. Good morning. This is what the nth term looks like. This is t of n or t of k, if you like, whatever pronoun we've got there. 7k minus 1. What kind of sequence, series, are we producing? One, one that keeps adding 7. Yeah, good. I'm adding 7 every time, which makes this an arithmetic progression, right? This is going to be an AP. So my next term is going to be 20, and my last term is going to be 27. Good morning. So, so that's all there is to it. Uh, 13 plus 27 is 40, 40 plus 20 is 60. Okay, so no big deal, right? Now I want to point out a couple of things. Firstly, these two things that I have on the board, right? I'm taking a sequence and I'm adding it all up. I'm adding some finite number of terms, okay? So we call both of these things, these are examples of them, we call these partial sums. This is a really important phrase, this is going to come back to us later. It's a partial sum because you've taken part of a sequence and you've added up that part, right? It's a partial sum of a sequence. Partial sums are a really important tool. That's the first thing I want to point out from these examples. The second thing I want to point out is, can you see my first sigma notation has n's in it, and my second sigma notation has k's in it? What difference did that make to the way I went through the question? Nothing. And so it didn't make any difference at all, right? In fact, it was just a good morning. 
It was just a label. It's just a label. And that label disappeared as soon as I started putting numbers in, right? As it were, like I could change these to K's, I could change these to N's. The answer is just a number at the very end. Okay? So that little variable in there, that printer, it's just a placeholder. It's just a placeholder. It's just going to get swapped out there. I'm putting it in for a second until I put in what I really want. Okay? Now, that, that placeholder idea that the name of the variable doesn't matter, uh, it has a particular name in, in math that we're talking about. So that N and that K, they're what we call, it's a funny name, dummy variables. D-U-M-M-Y. Very it is very scientific, isn't it? Right? It's something that's just going to get swapped out. It doesn't matter what it is. I could call it whatever I like. I could say from from Brendan equals one to Brendan squared. Right? And that's, it doesn't matter what my label is. It's going to disappear in a second anyway. Okay. Brendan, Brendan squared. That's a scary idea. Okay. Now. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> 